The, the issue of nuclear power in Africa is, is a must. Because some years ago, I challenged our people to total up the total hydropower potential of the rivers in Africa. The River Congo, the, the rivers in Ethiopia, this, this river Nairu here, the river Niger, the Zambezi, all these rivers, I think their potential is around 300,000 megawatts. And as you hear, sometimes the water is not reliable. The, the other source of power is solar. That one is good, clean energy, but it still has some issues of storage and so on. And I've been following the cost of a unit per kilowatt hour. They say it has now come to about 7.1 American cents, which would be good, which would be good. Therefore, the option of nuclear is a very wise one. And we should not waste time on that, as we normally do with, with other issues concerning Africa. We should support it because it is the one which, which is quite reliable. The only problem is the storage of the material which after it has been used. In Algeria, I saw they are even desalinating seawater to use the water for, for humans and for, for, for plants. I asked them, but I didn't get the cost of, of doing that. How much does it cost to desalinate seawater? I hope we should, some people could get us that, because that would, that would also add to a huge capacity, huge potential. We could be able to immunize ourselves against all these other dangers caused by climate change, causing shortage to fresh water of fresh water. So I'm very happy you had this conference here. The climate here is good. You don't have to warm the air. You don't have to cool it. You can just enjoy it the way you are. That's why sometimes Ugandans take life for granted. They think life is easy everywhere, everywhere but this is not the case. I wish to note that nuclear specialists in the country are currently trained abroad, but now government is fast tracking the establishment of the Center for Nuclear Science and Technology at Soroti University. The center will play a critical role for human capital development and will, will facilitate nuclear research and development in the country. The International Atomic Energy Agency is a key partner in promoting the safe, secure, and peaceful use of nuclear energy. Uganda remains committed to a strong partnership with the agency towards this end. On the other hand, nuclear science and technology in the non-electricity applications continues to play a pivotal role in the various sectors of government. For example, treatment and diagnosis of disease in human health, mainly for cancer management, improvement of agricultural productivity through mutation breeding and pest control in food and agriculture, 
research and industry. I've just returned from Algeria, where I had the opportunity of visiting the Nuclear Research Institute of Algiers. I was impressed by the strides made by the government of the Republic of Algeria. In May 2022, I received the agency report on the Inter Integrated Nuclear Infrastructure Re Re Review Mission. This report guided the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development to further prepare the country for nuclear power development. Some of the studies included identifying suitable sites for nuclear installations, reviewing the Atomic Energy Act of 2008 to strengthen the legal regime for nuclear safety, security, safeguards for nuclear material, civil nuclear liability, and maintaining the nuclear institutional framework, among other nuclear infrastructure assessments. Relatedly, preparation of to evaluate nuclear power plant site in eastern Uganda, across the shores of Lake Victoria in Buyende, is ongoing to pave the way for the first nuclear power project expected to generate 2,000 megawatts with the first 1,000 megawatts to be connected to the national grid by 2031. Uganda welcomes collaboration with fellow African countries and other international bilateral partner, partners to enhance the contribution of nuclear power to climate change mitigation, energy security, and sustainable development. Uganda, like all the African countries, has abundant energy resources fairly distributed throughout the country. These include hydropower potential, 15,000 megawatts. The biomass, 10,000 megawatts. The geothermal, 1,500 megawatts. Peat, 800 megawatts. Wind, 200 megawatts. Uranium and, and fossil fu fu fuels. Sustainable development and utilization of these resources necessitates establishing transparent and well-balanced partnerships with key technology providers across the globe. Therefore, this meeting presents a very good opportunity for exploring areas of strategic collaborations between African countries pursuing nuclear energy development and nuclear technology providers to forge a way forward for developing the nuclear industry on the continent. In 2005, Uganda experienced a severe drought that affected the hydrology of the River Nile, which affected the electricity generation from the Orne Falls Dam. As a result, we resorted to the expensive fossil-fired power plants to support the economy. Uh, this prompted me to direct the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development to diversify the energy mix to, to develop all the available energy resources, including nuclear energy, as a means to address the electricity needs of the country. So it is now my honor to declare the African Nuclear Business Platform 2023. Was it not open already? Was it open already? I, I also add my opening to the opening.
I wish you all a good stay and fruitful proceed, proceeding. Thank you very much.